condition doctors say most patients don't talk about because they're too embarrassed. But what many don't realize is how common it is because health matters. KRK4 Suzanne Bruner explains what prolapse is and how one woman got her life back. I couldn't even walk up steps. I could no longer go to the grocery store. Um, I was in pain all the time. It puts in tremendous pressure in, in your whole pelvic area. This is what Rebecca Gorell endured for three years. After noticing an onset of problems in the pelvic area, she knew she needed help. Physically obvious, and it just continues to get worse. Hello, hello. OBGYN Brian Fuller diagnosed her with a condition called prolapse. The organs of the pelvis, the uterus, bladder, rectum, um, don't have support anymore and start essentially uh, coming out. What Dr. Fuller hears so often from patients is prolapse is considered a part of getting older and they'd have to put up with it. But Fuller says that's not the case. Given their obstetrical history and how old they are, their activity levels, you know, it can be up to 75% of women have some, um, some element of prolapse. The surgical procedure done to fix this is minimally invasive. As you can imagine, Rebecca had gone several years without treatment, so prolapse was impacting other organs. Dr. Fuller said action needed to be taken fast, and it worked. Simple things. I cried. I got to go to the grocery store and walk up and down the aisles. Rebecca got to go camping with her children, and now she's back in the pool swimming. While Rebecca admits she couldn't find much about prolapse online, she warns don't ignore the signs. If you've got pressure and you've got an obvious bulge, or the, and you can see the prolapse, go talk to a surgeon. In Little Rock, I'm Suzanne Bruner. And women most at risk of prolapse have had multiple pregnancies and a family history of the condition.